Hi everyone, thanks for joining us. Dissecting Data is an activity developed by Mandy Bromelo, and Mandy was a master's student in fisheries here at VIMS. Mandy's research looked at young blue crabs and why their populations were fluctuating in the bay. Mandy noticed that in years when the red drum population went up, the blue crab population went down, and she wanted to see if those two observations were somehow linked. So we're gonna look at common species, fish species in the Chesapeake Bay, and we're gonna dissect their stomachs to see what they've been eating and see if they have an impact on the blue crab population. So here are our four fish species, their stomachs. We have striped bass, menhaden, croaker, and red drum, and these stomachs are made out of Play-Doh, and the stomach contents are stuffed with beads. Red beads are gonna represent young crabs, blue beads are gonna represent small or young fish, and green beads are gonna represent phytoplankton. So we're gonna start with the menhaden. So Bethany's gonna dissect these menhaden, this menhaden stomach. And as she cuts it open, we see, oh, I see lots of green. So these green beads represent phytoplankton. And as you can see, all of them are green. So we're gonna call this 100% phytoplankton. And we're gonna say that this menhaden is a vegetarian or at least acting like a vegetarian at the moment. We'll find out later. Our next species is red drum. And so as Bethany cuts open the red drum stomach, let's see what they've been eating. Oh, these guys definitely are not vegetarians. I'm seeing lots of red, which is the juvenile crab, and lots of blue, which is small fish or juvenile fish. So as we count up those beads, we can see that there's eight blue beads and red, 20 red beads. So that's a total of 28 beads. So eight divided by 28 means it's 28% fish. And 20 divided by 28 means it's 71% blue crabs. It's a lot of crabs. Next, we come to Atlantic croaker. Let's see what they've been eating. Oh, these guys are not vegetarians either. So I'm seeing a lot of blue. So I seem to be seeing a lot of blue and just a little bit of red. So I'm counting 17 blue beads and two red beads. So the total number of beads is 19. 17 divided by 19 means they're eating 89% fish and two divided by 19 means 11% are crabs. Our final species is striped bass. So let's cut open their stomach and see what they've been eating. Up, oh, lots of red and blue again. These guys are also carnivores. So I'm seeing seven blue beads and 15 red beads. So the total number of beads is 22. And seven divided by 22 means it's 32% fish. And 15 divided by 22 means it's 68% crabs. So these guys are hitting the crab population kind of hard as well. So let's bring all four of our species back so we can kind of get a visual. So it looks like the red drum and the striped bass are showing quite a bit of crabs. So looking at some graphs, Atlantic menhaden, you can see they're 100% phytoplankton. They're not having an impact on the crab population. So next we're gonna look at Atlantic croaker. So they're definitely eating some crab, but they're eating mostly fish. Looking at the red drum, wow, that's a big difference. So you can see they're definitely eating a lot more crab than fish. Those juvenile crabs are being sucked up by those red drum. And striped bass is very similar. So we can see that they're also having an effect. Now it's really important, we're gonna bring all four graphs up so you can see them side by side. And it's very clear that the red drum and the striped bass are having more of an effect than the croaker and the menhaden. So that does support Mandy's hypothesis, but it's important to remember that many factors go into um, what affects uh, crab populations in the bay. So this might not be the whole answer, but it's a very interesting detective story that Mandy worked on solving. And it's a very fun activity for us to replicate at home. This lesson plan is part of a bigger collection. It's called our Virginia C Collection, which stands for the Virginia Scientists and Educators Alliance. And right now we're up to about 45 lesson plans and you can find the rest of them at www.vims.edu slash V-A-S-E-A. Thanks for joining us. Take care.